All right, sinners. Well, how are you? Nice. Am I? Was I supposed to say well? You mixed it up a little bit, but that's okay. I like your remix. I took some artistic liberties there. And I appreciate it. Anytime. And welcome back to day eight of the second annual 12 Days of Sinmas. I'm ready to give the viewers some juicy mommy son content. Ooh. Anna and I were talking about it earlier. The eighth day of Christmas is eight maids of milking. So yeah. we're going to give you some of mommy's milk. Okay. Ooh. Merry Christmas. You dirty little sinners. Speaking of mommy's milk, today we're going to be watching um, <laughs> a very unhinged show. Would you say that, you know, the early 2000s was the most unhinged time for reality TV? <sighs> oh, come on. The early 2000s for me, genuinely, I thought it was bananas. I was around the age of like six to 15 and uh, it was bananas. They made any type of TV show. Anything. Whatever was suggested, they're greenlit. There was like, well, there's we have about a trillion dollars. Everything is going to get backed. We might make a couple seasons of these shows that should have never been made. And that was like the thing back then. Like now everyone wants to be a YouTuber. Back then, everyone wanted to be on reality TV. Everyone wanted to be on real world. Yeah. Everyone wanted it was like, I'm either going to go on the challenge or real world. Amazing race. Amazing race. Oh, my God. Survivor. Survivor. Oh. Today, we're going to be watching Date My Mom. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're going to be meeting three girl bosses today. And essentially, the premise of the show is that there is a contestant that goes on a date with three moms. And basically, whoever he they had the most fun with, whichever mom, they go on a date with their child. I think reality TV in, in, as a genre, they will just make anything. Yeah. They're just like, well, no, the premise of the show is we have these people, we give them alcohol, and then we just keep them in a cage for three months and we see what happens. It's like the 2023 version of the Stanford Prison Experiment, just with milk. Yes. Yeah. It's devastating because when they cut, like, it's crazy watching, like, Love is Blind and, like, the people who come out afterwards and they're like, yeah, they basically, like, locked the doors and fed us alcohol. And then, obviously, all this stuff happened. Insane. And then we all turn it on. We're like, ha, 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 what an idiot. But uh, without any further ado, this is the gay episode. Oh, this is the gay episode. Yeah. Oh. You're not ready I'm for not this. ready. I'm really not ready. Ladies and germs and everyone in between, this is Date My Mom. Your mom will have to convince me that their son is the boy for me. I'm into guys who are hot, not guys who think they're hot. Time to date these mothers and find me a lover. There's a lot happening. Intros on early 2000s TV is the same energy as people doing YouTube. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? This what's is what up, I'm fam? into. All right. And also just like, yeah, I'm gay. And f you if you're f you. And f you if you're ugly. Yeah. I don't like ugly guys. I like hot guys. Like and subscribe for more 2000s MTV. Mm-hmm, nothing like it. He's giving, I, uh, like, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody energy. Yes, he could be a background character in High School Musical, no problem. Yeah. And this is very, also very 2000s. Uh, if you think you're hot and you're not hot, you're an idiot. You should know if you're ugly. We have beauty standards. If you're yeah. ugly, shut up. Like, they were, like, loud and proud about that, too. Like, now oh, it's like, like there's still beauty standards, but people are, like, not talking about it, but, like... But people are, like, nicer. <laughs> Everyone was talking about it being, like... Yeah, we don't care about ugly people, and that's a very normal thing to do. Like, ugly people should die. Yeah, I think we should just get them out of here. Go to a different place. Time to okay. date these mothers and find me a lover. <laughs> Woo! Hot topic. Oh. I'm Diana, I'm 49. I'm Josh, and I'm 21, and we're going to win because we're freaky. They're freaky together? I don't like that part. You can't have your mom beside you and say, we're freaky. And that like chain, that iron yeah. chain across your necklace. He's a self-proclaimed warlock, I would say, maybe. Her ass is not playing. I've been married for 28 years and I have four <laughs> great kids. God, no. I used to be a go-go boy so I can dance, twist, and bend into any position you'd like me to be in. <laughs> I'm a proud mother. Is he giving Chris Angel energy or what? Yes, I'm in the bondage. It's get, it's giving like Chris Angel, but if he was more like into like traditional magic. And also, I'm a go-go boy was, that was a new sentence for me entirely. I've never heard anyone say I'm a go-go boy. 
I love it though. A goth go-go boy? I'd go to that club. I would definitely go to that club. That sounds like a blast. To say right away, you know, I have a supportive mom like that thing I, at that in that era. I think that's great. Honestly, yeah, because people weren't this like liberated until like 10 years later. This was like the only gay representation in the early 2000s. I like that MTV was like, well, let's do a gay episode. At that yeah. time, I think that's great. <laughs> do you think this still image right here would kill a Victorian child? Oh, my God. This, this would, would have started the second Salem witch trials. People would have just like started just genuinely like melting or exploding. They wouldn't understand how this could happen. This would send my Jehovah's Witness grandparents into a into a psychosis. Cardiac arrest. But hey, they're not great, but it's all good. <laughs> yeah. I hope these other moms are ready to get spanked. All right. My ass hurts. Wow. They are freaky. <laughs> With each other. These moms are going to get spanked. My ass hurts. Whoa. <laughs> it's very camp, I'd say. I fear it it's, is. I fear. I dare say. I'm invested, though. Oh, yeah. Shall I hit play? Oh, let's get into it. I want to see these moms get spanked. This is going to be stellar. Bring on mom number one. Tell them that we're not the stereotypical family. You know, we're the Bundys, the Osbournes, Roseanne, all into one. All into one. You got it. What if he asked me how many sexual partners you've had? Infinity doesn't even begin to describe it. Walked around the block, have you? Okay. Walked, run, bent, twist, name it. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> I mean, hey, that's a great quality, I think, in a partner, is being open about your sexual experiences. So you know what? Good job, go-go boy. But I wouldn't share it with your partner's parents. <laughs> or your own parents, even. That's yeah, that's a that's hey, bold choice. I'm a Josh guy right now. I'm I'm voting Josh. She's making him out to be like the village bicycle or something. Like everyone's yeah. had a ride. Everyone's had a go-go. I meant to point this out before, but I love like looking at him, you'd think his name would be something like insane, like Vladimir Starkiss or something. Yes, but he it's would just definitely like, just Josh. Village bicycle, everyone's had a ride. <laughs> I said that. You said you to, Yeah, you called that a little bit. Do you? Well, why not? What do you want me to tell him? That I'm the master, he's the bitch. Gotcha. Could you just imagine telling your mom to be like, all right, I want you to tell the stranger, I'm the master and he's the bitch. Hey. Hi. Hi, I'm Diana. I'm Jeremy. Ooh, no shoes. Nice to meet you. So where are we going? Oh. Um, I'm really into vintage cars, so we're going to a car hop. Oh, a car hop. Okay, sounds good. I'm ready to go. Just the dogs out? Beans out. <laughs> But I also, I'm worried, I don't know if Josh is going to like a car hop. It could go either way. He doesn't seem like no. a car guy. Jeremy's cute. Josh would bone him. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts? The sex positivity from this mom is thumbs up. I'm not making a wild assumption. I feel like she perused the gay bar scene back in her heyday. Yes. She, she threw uh, the first brick at Stonewall. I'll say it. Yeah, if you look back on the history books, she did it and... She had no shoes on. She was like, gay is, gay is okay, loser. And then fucking wiggled her toes, tossed that brick, bang. To fit in at a vintage car hop, you've got to have a vintage car. So this is Gloria. She's a 69. It's my favorite year. So you ready to learn some swing dancing moves? I am. I am ready. Wait. Come on, there you go, there you go. Why? <laughs> I thought she didn't I thought put we were shoes on at all. Doggies out. I thought this was a car hop, not a like a swing dance club. Well, I think maybe he's trying to give her like the sense of what it was like when these cars were around. Like everyone was just everyone was just swing dancing. So he's calling her old. Well, he maybe he's trying to re remind her of her past. He'll be like, "You remember this, right?" Yeah, you remember old cars and milkshakes and. But they still had shoes back then, so. I don't know what her excuse is. So do your feet hurt at all from this? Oh, hell no. I never wear shoes. My feet are a shoe. Bottoms like leather. <laughs> Let's take a break and have a milkshake and talk about your son. Sounds awesome. Perfect. I still got it. That's right. That's right. So what's your son's name? Josh. Tell me what I should know about Josh. He likes to go dancing, do a little bondage. So he likes dancing and bondage. Yeah, and wow. I, but, like, they have such an open relationship. A little too open, maybe? A little jarring. A little jarring, a bit, yeah. A bit. And it's the, the, the escalation of the list of things that he likes. Just dancing and then just right to bondage. You're like, 
Zero to 100. That escalated really quick. And I also can't stop looking at the bottom of her feet here. (laughs) On like that really nice car. Yeah, oh, definitely. Like probably like completely redone, rubbing her toes all over it, getting nice and comfy. She's multifaceted. And honestly, I can't do anything but respect her. Yeah, exactly. She is truly her own person. And I'm not here to hate. Oh, this is the best. Josh is very, very tall, 6'2". Perfect, perfect body. Um, he has a big, giant black coat that he wears, and people call him Neo because he looks like Keanu Reeves. I'm strangely turned on right now. Oh. <laughs> He's got friends, so he'll bring somebody home. You know, I said, so who said? I'll say it's just a friend, which means he bones it. But that's his friend. That's interesting, yes. to say the least. Three minutes in. This is, ins- this is bananas. Bonkers, this- even. I I thought he was a bit normal at the beginning, but that shot of being like, I'm kind of turned on right now, that really threw me. She shouldn't be involved in all this. This is, this is too involved. Like I get supporting your kid, but this is, this is a gross amount of involvement in your child's sex life. She's the mom in Mean Girls that's like, do you guys want snacks, a condom? She refills the lube for them. Would you like the red pill or the blue pill? He looks like Neo. And, like, we haven't learned anything about his personality yet. Like, it's just like, yeah, I'm close with my mom, and I'm just, I'm a, I'm a sex guy. I'm horny. I'm horny as f- all the time. Yeah. I am bricked up right now. Harder than the brick that my mom threw at Stonewall. <laughs> it doesn't get much gayer than that. No. Josh is the gayest person alive. <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. Sometimes there's a residue that, you know, marks that somebody was his friend. Ah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Every time, like 15 seconds goes by and it's a, a shocking amount of information. You know that one article that's like, we should know less about each other. This is what they're this talking about. This episode of Date My Mom. Like just like being like, yeah, sometimes there's come on his chest. And that's how I know he had sex. That's a crazy thing to do, in my opinion. Insanity. Nothing about his personality yet. Like, what is he like? What's his favorite color? Right now, I think it's his favorite color is I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the, like the unreleased Crayola crayons. <laughs> they have like mac and cheese. Unhinged Crayola. Josh has got a lovely whip. Makes a really awesome sound. He just likes to flip it in the air. Makes a cool noise. Are you a good bitch? No. What the hell? <laughs> Can we learn his favorite fruit? Like learn like, something, please. Like favorite animal. I'm actually sick of this mom being like, he's got a really cool whip. D- I stop it. Not to be like a total buzzkill, but like the boundary issues in that family is insane. It's too much. I've gone on an emotional roller coaster with these two, like up and down. And it feels like I'm just like, I feel like I'm more on the decline now though. Five stages of grief. Do some have any special talents? Oh, well, actually he used to dance for hire. He was a go-go boy. Do you think you could show me some of his moves? A little bit of Josh. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ew! Yeah, you like that, don't you, boy? Sorry, not to be like... I can't decide if I want to be ageist or misogynistic. That sucked. That was not great. Before you f- my son, you gotta f- me first. <laughs> I need to make sure you're good enough for my son. Josh sounds dominating. I don't know if I can submit to that. On to mom number two. Hey, I see what he did there. Hell yeah. I love a pun. Mom, hey, what's up? <laughs> Everything in great, okay. great detail. He yeah, wanted me. to know how you dance. Hmm. So I kind of danced on him a little bit. I would lean him back, giving him some stuff. Mom. I should have told you I get first touch. I f- him first, Mom, not you. Mom, we've been over this. This keeps happening. Mom says it's my turn to f- <laughs> Ew. Did you talk about the bondage at all? Well, he didn't seem to be as experienced as you, and he's not quite as inventive as you. Oh, I have to break him out of a shell. There you go. Sweet. I can count on you. We have two other moms to meet. Oh, my God. This is... I all, yeah, this has been a roller coaster. But I also love that, I don't know if you caught it, when he went, did you at least tell him about the bondage? Come on. Like, mom, don't blow this for me. Well, uh, let's meet the second mom. I'm okay. Christine, and I'm 51. I'm Nick, and I'm 19. And I'm going to kick these mother's asses for real. <laughs> I'm 
going to kick him. For real. Wow, that was a lot to take in. I've been married for 20 years and I got three wonderful kids. Nice. I'm nice. not really into sex. I know that's weird, but. Yes. Whatever. <laughs> Celebrate King. I know King. this guy's going to pick us because my mom's the. You heard. <laughs> oh. oh, no. This is 10 times. Okay, this is You bananas. heard? You heard? I kind of like, he's kind of giving asexual. I love it. I don't it. like sex. Before they had the dialogue to be like, I'm asexual. He's like, I don't like sex. I like my accordion. Word. For real? Bruh. Whoa. Oh, is he doing dinosaur? Oh my God. On the rizzle dizzle, these mothers better watch out for sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> no way i'm embarrassed for her i yeah like i i just i i really just want i wish someone went and just whispered in her ear just stop just please this, stop this is going on national television christine mom number two get ready to shoot him up the first thing that i want you to ask him is if he prefers britney spears or christina aguilera because christina aguilera ooh, be really loud be funny and talk ghetto for she is what what talk what Huh? Yeah, at the beginning before all this, he was like, Mom, I for once in my life, I want to look cool. Can you talk ghetto so they think I have a cool mom? Can we bring back the leather mommy? I liked this guy a little bit more, but when he told her to talk ghetto, I was just like, this has all gone down the tubes. Oh, I'm in pain. Make sure you also let him know, too, that I'm not all that into sex. So ask him if he's all about sex or if he really wants a serious relationship and just let him know that I'm here for a serious relationship and not just a hookup. For real? She just doesn't stop doing that. I know for a fact you do not talk yes. like that. There's no, of course. Look at your haircut. There's uh, no way you talk like that. I kind of, and I do respect the fact that he was like, I want a serious relationship. That was kind of nice. I want something meaningful. And then his mom's like, for real? But I feel like this mom is going to set him off a little bit. I think, I don't think he's going to. You don't think Jeremy's going to like her? No, I don't think so. It's too much of a polar opposite of what we just saw. Like this guy hates sex and Josh loves it. These are the only two circles that could create this weird Venn diagram of how I'm feeling right now, which is really unwell. Guy number three, I'm rooting for him. I hope he's more pimp than this guy. Yeah, for real, for rizzle. <laughs> See, I don't talk like this, so I have no idea how no, to use it. There's no one, no one talks like this. Black scent Becky over here. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jeremy. So where are we going? Uh, today we're gonna go stir up some trouble as Bonnie and Clyde. Sounds good. Let's go. Let's go. Christine looks harmless. I hope she knows how to get gangsta. Jeremy's off the hizzy. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> no way. No way. I mean, at this point, whoever's behind the camera has to be like, keep rolling. We have to make this show now because this is so nuts. <laughs> yeah, like keep it up with the faux shizzle stuff. Yeah, guys, no, do more, do more, do more, do more, do more. This will this will age really well. So Jeremy's sticking out his yacht for this Rizzler. I don't know what any of those words mean. Neither do I. I don't understand any of the references. I don't know what they're talking about. I've always been, like, good at keeping up with, like, internet lingo. But, like, I think I've reached a point now. Like, I've crossed that threshold. It's, it only gets worse from here on in, buddy. But, uh, Bonnie and Clyde, let's see. Oh, yeah, let's see it. Bonnie and Clizzle. Bizzle and Clizzle. <laughs> we gonna be doing well i'm really into old hollywood movies so i thought we would dress up as bonnie and clyde cool cool check this out now you look great shoot i look sexy as hell okay please stop i hate to be a jerk you don't look sexy as hell especially when you went shoot i'm not here to put you down but maybe someone should because you're you're too confident right now. Her self-awareness is just like non-existent. I don't know what his obsession with like old timey stuff is. This is a red flag for me. I'm going to take a picture of you in front of the car. Sounds good. Let's do it. Make it provocative for me. Ooh, I can be very provocative. Shoot, boy. <laughs> I think it's time for us to take a picture together. Put your arms around me, baby. Ooh. Are you trying to get frisky with me? I'm really trying to get frisky with your son, remember? Oh, that's right. Forgot all about that. Silly straight woman. That was good. That was kind of funny. That was super funny. <laughs> we got to bring that back as a good insult. That's perfect. 
Silly straight woman. This is bananas. Who would you prefer, Christina Aguilera or Britney Spears? Christina. Nick really has a thing for Britney Spears. He really <laughs> thinks she's hot. A gay guy who likes Britney Spears? Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Does he have a lot of goals? Right now, he, he doesn't have, you know, the goals as far as, um, as far as I know, it's doing anything right now. She really said, my son doesn't dream of labor. F work, dude. She was kind of like, yeah, my son wants to like destroy the system. Anti-capitalist king. Another day has a, you know, a what, what mom, so. <laughs> a, a what, what? Oh, anyone feeling gangster right now? Yeah, I am shizzling in the sun. Oh. <laughs> Jeremy and Nick, I just don't see it happening. I feel like, uh-oh. Are you into, are you into sex? I've had sex before, but I wouldn't say I'm into just sex. Because um, my son says that, you know, he's not into that part of it. Yeah, so what I, he just, you know, I... Has Nick ever had sex before? I don't know if you've heard of this thing that, uh, I don't know, sends you to hell, but... Uh, All the kids are doing it. I guess you, what, you rub, you rub your uh, butts together. You go butt, butt. Your bizzles. Yeah, you bizzle the shizzle, and then uh, you go butt, butt. That's how babies are made. Nick was a uh, Virgin Mary Jesus type birth, so I don't know really what this is. A gay virgin? I've never heard of that. Well, you made a really frisky <laughs> Bonnie, and I had a great time with you on a date. This is for my son to you. Oh, that's sweet. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Aww. Christine was all, what, what? That was nice. But her son sounds kind of, what? I love the peck on the cheek. That was sweet. This is from my son. I hope this isn't sex. And then bang. He was a little virgin phobic. Yeah, he didn't like that. Being a 19 and a virgin, that's like totally normal. Totally normal. And also like the gay virgin comment was nuts. I've never met a gay virgin. What? Relax. That makes zero sense. <laughs> Mom. I had such the great time, mm -hmm. let me tell you. Most important thing of all though, did you ask him, Brittany or Christina? I asked oh, him. Oh, what is The it? answer was. I'm gonna die. Stop, stop, stop. My heart is banned. <laughs> Christina. <laughs> <laughs> Their acting is great. They're really committing. They're really, like, I loved all of that. Like, I'm gonna die. That was perfect. Like, is there a bit of self-awareness? Like, are they playing it up because they know it's a joke? Maybe, yeah. Maybe they're, this is a prank on us. Did, um, they just do a thing? They just did a thing. Hi, I'm Janet. I'm 47. I'm Daniel, and I'm 18, and I'm one hot piece of ass. I've been married 18 years, and I have three terrific kids. <laughs> Not Dance yeah. Dance Revolution. DDR. Awesome. Holy I shit. love DDR. But it's like the the like at home DDR set. I love that. Connected to what? They're outside. No, but that's the that's the beauty of DDR is that like you don't need a TV. That's the revolution of dance. It's in here. It was right there all along. Daniel is so happy and loving and he loves to please people. <laughs> I'm a brown belt in Taekwondo. He'll kick your ass. How are they the most normal people so far? What's, I think it's the Hollister shirt. I think they're truly being them. This is the first people that I'm like, oh, this is actually you guys, I think. He does karate. The, that he, You could tell he was having fun being like, I'm a brown belt. This yeah. is something I'm proud of. And I'm proud of him. Me too. This is getting nuts, but I'm ready. Bring on mom number three. What do you want me to tell him? Tell him I like hairy guys. Telling you about your dad for years. <laughs> uh, mom, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> At least they have a little bit of a limit. Okay, boundaries. I love that right away. This is all right. I'm in. He has the most personality so far. Like, I feel like yes. I know the most about him. And we learned it in the intro karate, dance dance revolution, boundaries. These are all great things. Call him a mushroom because that's a fun guy. This will be this will be for Toronto people, but call him Kawhi Leonard because he's a fun guy. My Canadian sinners will know exactly what you mean. I hope so. Hi, I'm Janet. I'm Jeremy. Nice to meet you. So, where are we going? Well, I love eating, so we're gonna go barbecue Mongolian style. Sounds great. Jeremy's cute, but he doesn't look very hairy. <laughs> First son was a slot, <laughs> second son was a prude. Hopefully this son will fit just right. Well, I picked Mongolian because my friends and I eat it every day after school, uh -huh. and I thought we could do it in true Mongolian couture. Oh, good. Are they? No. Oh, no. Like, Mongolian food sounds good. That sounds great. 
That sounds but, delicious. I uh, I don't know if I'm ready to see what happens next. Also, I did like earlier though the Goldilocks reference. Yes. Goldilocks. That was also a good one. <laughs> that was a very good one. Thank you. He likes <laughs> guys with hair, and he likes the happy trail. Do you have a happy trail? I do. I oh, do. Oh no. Oh yeah, I can see that. I wear big shoes, so do you think Daniel can handle that? Big shoes? Does that mean what I think it means? <sighs> yeah, that means what you think it means. Yeah. Now, what size of shoe do you wear? An 11 and a half. Oh. What size does Daniel wear? 12 and a half. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> 12 and a half. Ooh. Is Daniel on MySpace? <laughs> he sure is. What's his MySpace <laughs> like? No! Yes, I love it. This is the best. Yeah! For the sinners that don't know, this is so of the era. If the Fallout Boy shirt didn't give it away, the MySpace definitely did. The mice, oh, the layering of the shirts, the Fallout Boy shirt, the Hollister, the Abercrombie and Fitch shirt, and then MySpace. We made it. We oh. made it, boys. We made it, boys. I'm no longer old. This is of your Going time. Going back in time. This is of my time. I like them. Me too. I she's it's it is truly the perfect mix. She can be silly and goofy, but at a limit. Like she doesn't forget that. She's Daniel's mom. Yes, she's like, I'm still a parent. I'm a, I'm a grown person. And, you know, I'm here. I have a job to do. Mom, you're back. How did it go? It went really good. His name is Jeremy, and uh, we went on a picnic. He cooked me some Mongolian barbecue food. Is he Mongolian? Like, <laughs> No, he's not Mongolian. He's hot. He's really hot. He's not Mongolian. He's hot. Whoa. That was... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Again, it was a different time. Yeah, they didn't know better. They didn't know better. They knew better. But uh, I think we've made it to the part where he chooses which boy he Ooh. wants to date. And he meets them in person for the first time. Here we go. This, this is, is what it. we've been waiting for. This is what for. we've been waiting for. So dramatic. Oh. I'm gonna Beautiful go to the outfit. Beach today to find out which son is the chosen one. Do you like how he's standing there like a gun is being held to him? Oh, yeah. It is like very much like blink twice if you're going with the go-go boy. They love their cameras. Their oh, camera yeah. angles in the early 2000s. Hi, Jeremy. And they love their Good transitions. To Good to see you too, Diana. If Jeremy picks Josh, I know those two are going to do some freaky shit together. <laughs> oh, my God. What's up, Jeremy? Not much, Christine. Shoot! What these other mothers think they be? <laughs> She's back. We love Christine. We love Christine. She's back. Mo Shizzler than ever. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't I wait. I can. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too, Janet. I've seen these other sons and they're not I like as how she's different. my Daniel. I usually don't care what women think about me, but I'm about to make two moms very upset. Diana, I love that Josh is such a free spirit but I'm looking for something a little more meaningful. I do not want to date your son. Big mistake. Wait till you Whoa. see what you're missing out on. This is my gorgeous son, Josh. Wow. No wonder he ties everyone up. It's to keep him from running away. <gasps> That was kind of good. That was rude, but Jeremy's got like tons of zingers like that. He's he's done a good job with that. So it's either Nick or Daniel. Who do you think it's gonna be? I think it's Daniel. It's gotta be Dan. I think he has it in the bag. Christine, I'm so glad Nick's going back to school, but I can't really get behind a guy who doesn't want to have sex. I do not want to date your son. You suck. Meet my booty licious son, Nick. Meet my bootylicious son. I've never seen anything so bootylicious. Ugh. Mm -mm. Looks like the no sex is not a choice. Oh, <laughs> that's bananas. Jeremy's kind of a comedian. I don't he's know. Kind of, I'm kind of looking for an opener, but I only want him to tell the jokes that he's told on this show. I would love to see where are they now. That's a great part, too. Yeah. Christine, if you're watching. Text me at uh. 555 de my mom. That's his real number, folks. That's my real number. <laughs> Even though Daniel Cruz is nizzle. MySpace, the fact that he's career minded really turns me on. I do want to date your son. All right, Jeremy, 
Now you can meet my awesome son, Daniel. Yeah! Oh! He looks amazing. So early 2000s at oh. that time. Fantastic! Oh. Fight me! My Jeremy! Oh. How do you think he looked? He looked really stupid. <laughs> I hope they make out. Me too. Oh, if they found love, because I guess they'd be like, well, I don't know if they'll fully connect, though, on the always sex, no sex thing. That's a tough runner-up situation. Yeah. But I love the steamy makeout sesh between the two winners. Yeah. Like, look at them go. Oh, my God. They got into it right away. But he can't handle a master like me. And they're still going. All right. That's enough. Wow. Most 2000s outro of all time. But you know what? I think the right people ended up together. I would agree. I hope to find out that uh, Snoop Dogg and uh, Christine, maybe they got to hang out at, at some point. She could <laughs> finally meet her hero. Her hizzle. Wow, indeed. And you know what? Good job, MTV. I think that was, uh, for the time. Not bad. You guys, not bad. Not bad. For what it was, thank you. We had unhinged family dynamics, cultural misappropriation. We had it all. Perfect for Sinmas. So yeah, guys, I think the, the lesson is, is like, mom knows best. If you guys enjoyed day eight of the 12 days of Sinmas, give this a tiny, tiny thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Make sure you go follow Jacob everywhere. I'll link his channel and everything in the description. Thank you again for being here. Oh, thanks, Anna. You're the best. Aww. That was amazing. We love you guys, and we'll see you soon with some brand new videos. And I'll see you tomorrow for day nine of the 12 Days of Sinmas. Happy Sinmas, everybody. Bye. <laughs>